Um, yes, hello, it's me, and I'm burned out again. Good evening, in my case. Good morning, good afternoon to you whenever you're watching this video. And welcome to my channel. And thank you to my regular viewers for always tuning in to my videos and what's going on in my life. And if you are new here, I'm Colleen. I'm a freelance video editor. I freelance edit from home. I've been doing it for years now. Come join the club. It's nice here. But Colleen, why are you sitting on the floor? Well, I will tell you, a lot has been going on in my world recently, in both my personal life and my freelance life. And I don't think I realized it at the time. Maybe I did, but I've been actually living in burnout for a few months now, probably since around July. And I've just kind of been in survival mode, like making sure everything is kind of getting done, maybe failing on a couple things. But now finally this particular week, in fact, I'm posting this tomorrow. So this particular week is like the first week where I actually have potentially some breathing room. So I thought I'd sit on the floor and tell you what's going on with my life because I think it's important as a freelancer who my whole entire channel is dedicated to telling you tips and advice about freelancing, I feel it's only fair to talk about my own freelance life and that maybe it will help you with some advice if you are in this world as well. I am feeling like a sellout, just a little bit. I went into the freelance world with the hope of maybe one day growing it to the place of being able to hire people underneath of me and become sort of a media agency, if you will, where I could grow and keep focusing on getting more customers and then hire and outsource that work out to people below me, which is how agencies tend to work. And maybe if I would have had that frame of mind from the very beginning, I would have shaped my business a little bit differently, but I didn't. I, I originally had the frame of mind of compiling enough clients so that I could survive as a freelancer. And then if need be, I would maybe outsource just a few things to an assistant, which is what I did for the past two years. I have an assistant and it started with my YouTube channel, needing help editing my YouTube channel. And I would send things out to him. And then it grew from there with other client work, things that I just couldn't handle and didn't have time for, depending on the weeks I would send out to him as well. But again, I am realizing the difference between these two things now in that if you're just a freelancer and you're trying to get your own clients and you're not planning on outsourcing that work, in my case, I was inclined to take clients that were a little bit cheaper, knowing that they were long-term clients and I could grow with them to eventually raise my rate to be higher. But in the meantime, I'm the one doing the work versus if I knew from the very beginning I wanted to go the agency route, I would have one, focused on my branding and my marketing and hiring slightly higher end clients, maybe companies. And equally as much on that side, I would also be focusing on hiring editors specifically at low rates so that my profit margin would be higher as most people would think that they would do. So a few years have gone by and I've had the same kind of clients and I've been outsourcing a lot of my work to my assistant who I do pay a relatively high rate for an assistant role, considering that I am such a small company. I realized a while back that this is not actually that sustainable and I'm gonna have to make some sort of changes eventually. But being that I've been in survival mode for the past year or so, it's hard to consider these big decisions when I'm just constantly just swimming just to survive every single day and every single week. It's really hard to make those decisions of, do I need to do a complete overhaul of my business and change something? Some things were answered for me within the past year. One of those being that I did lose a client in the past year just because I had a cross the board raised all my rates for my clients and most of them had no problem and it was fine but one in particular was already kind of on the outs and so they just had to opt out and so I did lose a client which ended up kind of being a good thing because again I was just struggling to survive. Then about two months after that I found myself having a very big decision to make. One of my clients who I am a freelance contractor for offered me a promotion and that promotion would still be contracted work, but it would require a significant more amount of my time. And to some degree, this is a great thing. This is something that a lot of freelancers want. You want to, as long as they pay more, which in this case they did, you want to be able to make good money and then also not be overwhelming yourself. Then tell me why I have been spiraling for the past year with the thought of getting 
rid of too many of my clients for fear that I would be a freelance sellout. It's like, am I taking the easy road, just using one client and not building off of that? Am I doing the freelance game all wrong, maybe? Or am I just trying to survive as a freelancer, like many of you are out there, where all we want is to be able to create cool videos and make cool stuff and make a full-time living. Ultimately, what happened was, is that I took the promotion and then there became a question of, do I get rid of another client because I'm still not gonna be able to juggle all this work. So cue the last two months, I have been juggling my promoted client over here and another client over here, juggling between two of them, deciding what do I do with this? Do I get rid of this client? Do I tell this client I actually can't fulfill the role? So that's what I've been dealing with for the past two months. Ultimately, I told this client over here that I was going to need to put in a one month notice. That was now a month ago. And now I have completed the work for this client over here. So now more of my time is this gonna go towards this client. Does this mean that I only have like three clients now? Yes, potentially. Is that kind of scary? Yes, potentially. It's a scary thought to think especially as a contractor, that you're going to put all your eggs in one basket into one client, assuming that they are going to keep you for the foreseeable future. And given the fact that I have my apartment to pay for, I have my school loans coming in <laughs> out of their paws, and I now have a wedding to pay for, it's caused me to spiral just a little bit. Not like previous burnouts, which I'm very grateful for. There has been a lot less crying and just a lot more <laughs> pondering and reflection, which is good. It was almost on a daily basis back a month, two months ago that I had to consistently tell myself and remind myself why this is a good thing, how it can be a really, really good thing. And especially going into the holidays, I found myself in previous years, I've got all these clients that I'm taking on, you know, I've been trying to like hustle my way through this for the past few years with all these clients and going through the holidays ends up being such a hard time for me because you're trying to make time for all these things, all these Halloween parties, my birthday's in November, Thanksgiving and Christmas, there's just so much going on. And in the meantime, I'm struggling, working on the weekends, trying to like do all these things and like not getting some stuff done or getting stuff done, but I'm up so late and I do not do well when I have not slept or not eaten. And they've been really stressful for me. And if anything, I keep telling myself that this could be a potentially great thing. You now have a little less to worry about on the client side. It's a little less client juggling that you're gonna have to deal with. And you could potentially go into the holiday, potentially stress-free. And wouldn't that be so nice? Because I don't think I've had that for a long time. <sighs> All that to say, I have been feeling a little bit like um, a mess and uh, a little bit of a sellout and a little bit burned out and all the things out, I've just been out of gas lately. And maybe that's part of the reason that I'm also sitting on here because I do appreciate having my YouTube channel. I appreciate having you guys watching these videos. I do try to be as consistent as possible one of the things I also considered with this whole change in my freelance uh, workload is that potentially I may end up having more time to dedicate to my YouTube channel, which is my true passion in that it does get me excited or at least it used to get me excited and I'd like to get back into, you know, revamping the channel and, and putting more content more consistently. And that's always been something I've been striving towards and it's just been really difficult lately. So <sighs> my hope is that this is overall a very good thing for both my freelance world, my personal world, my YouTube world. It's gonna lead to a lot more great, awesome content and more inspiring content that I create and just me showing up for you better and more present and with a better headspace, creating more high quality content than I did in the past. That is my hope. And as far as what's going on in my freelance world, I am curious if you are also struggling in a similar way, struggling with maybe getting more clients or maybe you have too many clients and you're thinking maybe I need to deduce that a little bit. Maybe you got the wrong clients and you wish you had the right clients. Again, 
I swear every year this happens to me that around this time going into the holidays, I get very reflective about my business and I'm very aware of how the holidays are for me. And when it's too stressful, I know that that's not quite the business that I wanted to create. And so even though I am taking a step back a little bit into my business and not quite doing work that is of the agency, persuasion. It doesn't mean that that's not going to exist for me in the future and I can't start working towards that. If anything, this just gives me a tiny little break right before the holidays that I can focus on a more stable client over here and then eventually grow this side over here as well. So oh, thank you for letting me vent. I hope you're having a great day. Leave your comments below if you have a similar story to share about what's going on in your life and I will catch you guys next week. Hopefully I'll be able to shoot some more content by then. So I will catch you guys in the next video. Have the best one.